You make me feel some type of way, and that's kinda rough. If I hit your line back to back, it's because I care. This ain't no competition, they do not compare. Just making me a you, cause I don't like the shine. Just mind me and tell me that if you mind me, spend it. Your love there, take it back, cause I don't like the shine. I'm calling, texting, asking what you're doing I must not be the only senior reader you pursuing My criteria superior, nothing to it I said it, I meant it, I ain't scared to prove it Not normal, not average, baby, I'm exclusive Ain't no reason, but baby, let me introduce you Head game crazy like Versace Rock Medusa Make a climax like executive producer See, I don't want your love I'm not enough, yeah. Take advantage, love, before your time is up, yeah. You make me feel some type of way, and that's kind of real. What's up, what's up? I said I was going to have a video for y'all on Wednesday. I said in the morning, but I lied, because I'm a liar. I, I think we've all come to the conclusion that I'm a liar. And I and not and not like a liar like a lot of people, but I just I I I be lying to myself. I be lying to myself. I guess I be lying to y'all too because I be telling y'all one thing and you don't always do that. But it's okay. But it's okay because we here. So um, it's it, it's tapping Tuesday, but it, it, it's dropping on Thursday, <laughs> which is today. Uh, uh, right, goddamn now. So um, it's just been a really busy, crazy week. You know what I'm saying? Like the band that I'm a part of, we have been literally doing shows and like people are offering us our own days and stuff so we already have our thursday spot at culture lounge every second and fourth thursday of the month now we just got a monday edition that is over like in um i guess like i guess it would be considered carson i'm not really sure i'm not from la so i would have to ask my band members but um it's more so like going towards Long Beach. Like you take the 405, but you know, before you get to Long Beach. So I think that is Carson. Um, but anyway, so we got a little Monday spot going. We did they Taco Tuesday just as a fill-in. We did so good that they decided to hire us and give us our own night. And yes, Auntie has new hair, honey. I'm going on vacation on Friday. Um, I couldn't do Tapping Tuesday because I had to sing on Tuesday. And then today... I didn't get to pre-record. It's just been a lot. I, going on vacation this weekend, going to celebrate my cousin's beautiful union with her fiance and the rest of my kinfolk down in Mexico, uh, Playa del Carmen, to be exact. But um, I want to stay dedicated to my tapping Tuesday because, baby, we're not skipping no weeks. I don't give a damn if I do got to drop it on a Wednesday or a Thursday, baby, it's going to get dropped. And I want y'all to start getting used to the pre-recordings because this is about to be the new standard, me pre-recording these videos because going live every Tuesday and recording simultaneously is starting to become like a little bit, um, just a little much um, because the band, we're, we're picking up business, I'm picking up business and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm still going to be doing live, but it the... Tapping Twist is going to be elevating soon, and we we're going to start doing pre-recorded things because we're going to be bringing some more elements to Tapping Tuesday. So, that's just that on that. But let's just get into some stories. So, I had told y'all on Instagram, if you if you follow me on Instagram, I don't know if you hear from TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, I don't even care. But on Instagram, I had told a story in my story that I almost cursed somebody out on the goddamn bus. And forget those of you that don't know, I am a BII, which is like a behavior instructional um intervention or behavior intervention instructional something like that <laughs> i can't think of the exact title but it's a behavior instructional in the grand scheme of things and basically i come into classroom i can actually be a teacher or i can be an a but i take the a role because it's less work so um i basically aid um young people that are on the um spectrum or they might be special needs and they come to the classroom that I work out of to further their education after they are complete with high school. So we take them on field trips and we teach them how to cook. We teach them life skills. So this particular day, we go to Venice Beach Fishing Pier um, because we like to let them go out and see things, you know, and also teach them how to be social and do it in a very, you know, um, non-threatening way, you know, because sometimes they can be a little um unaware of how to approach people unaware of personal space and boundaries so we take them on outings 
amongst the real world because they are still functioning adults. They are from the ages of 18 to 22. After 22, they can go into college or whatever like that. So we go to Venice Fishing Pier, having a good time. We get on the bus on our way back because we take public transportation, the train and the bus. So because we actually teaching them life skills. So we tell them, hey, show us how to get to the next bus stop. Okay, look at y'all directions. Look at y'all phone. If y'all was lost, what would y'all do? So we give them scenarios that they can like, you know, work together individually and figure it out. So we're on our way back now. We, you know, we know what bus the kid, it's only six of them, about six or seven of them. Um, and it's like five of us that um, are staff. So it's very balanced. So they like, um, okay, we get on the bus. So we get on the bus and I'm talking to my coworker we just having a whole little conversation. Matter of fact, we, we talking about um, some TV show. And I'm like, yeah, the acting, they can't really act that good on that show. Like, it sucks. You know, kiki, kiki, ha, ha, ha. Before I even get into that part, the man, we get on the bus. We go a few stops up. A, the, a man gets on the bus. A man gets on the bus. Mind you, the whole class and staff, we sitting at the back of the bus. Because we like to sit together. So we take the whole back, you know, three rows all the way to the back. It seats in the front. Why his motherfucking ass come to the back with, with all of us, scrunched up? It sits next to one of the staff members because I'm sitting next to my one-on-one. -on -one. I have a one-on-one -on -one that I, you know, give all my attention to for the most part. So I went my one-on-one. -on -one. My, co my co-worker, my homie, he with his one-on-one. -on -one. And then we got my other co-worker, Mr. J. And then we got Miss B. And then we got Miss A. I don't want to say they real names. I don't know if they really want y'all to know who they is or whatever like that. So we got Mr. J, Miss B, and then Miss A. So Mr. J is sitting by himself in empty seat. So the man comes all the way and sits by Mr. J. Now, mind you, Mr. J seat and my seat are, are next to each other, but across. So I'm sitting in my seat in the inside of the aisle. And the, the man sits on the inside. I mean, not on the on the outside by the aisle homeboy he sits on the outside seat by the aisle as well so we're like across from each other like you know i'm talking to my co-worker and i'm like yeah you know they can't act on that show it suck like they, they need something i acting like mm -mm, fine as hell but can't act this negro gonna look at me and say um what you talking about i don't i'm not an actor like i'm not acting i looked at him i said I'm not talking to you nor about you. Proceeds to keep talking. Now my coworker, he laughing. He trying, he he trying not to laugh, but he laughing. And everybody just kind of like looking. And see, one thing about me, baby, I really don't feel nobody but the Lord above. I don't really have no fear in my heart like that. Like I really be walking around this thing called Earth or this thing called life, like I'm motherfucking Superman, bitch. You would think I was in a, uh, a part of the Avengers, the way I be walking around with my chest poked out like I wish a motherfucker would. I gotta work on that, I gotta work on that. I gotta work on that, but I really don't be fearing nobody, don't. What? Come again say what? Baby, please, uh-uh, don't do that. So I look at him and I'm just like, I'm not talking about you nor to you. <laughs> and then I turn around and I want to say, so mind your motherfucking business, okay? But we amongst, you know, I'm at work still. So me and my coworker, we still talking. Now, dude being extra weird, and he's staring at my students. Now, mind you, my students, they they special needs, so they have triggers. So most of them are are, are um, have autism, and they have different, you know, they own different spectrums of autism. So one of my students, you know, he gets nervous very easily. Like, if somebody's acting erratic, like we have one student, sometimes he acts very erratic and, like, you know, has outbursts and stuff, and it scares my other student. And, like, he be needing time to, like, go and regroup because he just be so, like, to the point where he will cry. You know what I'm saying? So, um, dude was looking at my student, one of the other students in the classroom. And I looked back and I was like, you okay? And he was like, yeah, but he just keeps staring at me. And he was staring at me and I said, what? And I was like, good job, good job. You know, don't let nobody make you feel uncomfortable. You did right. You did right. So, mind you, the, the dude is still sitting right by us while we having this conversation. He ain't moved. He literally just keep looking at everybody like. I'm like, what the hell? He act like he need to be in the goddamn class. 
Okay, we need to teach him some goddamn life lessons and life skills. Now, not only is he standing there, everybody, he playing loud ass music on his cell phone. Nigga playing too short. Too short on the song talking about suck my D, eat my balls, and all of this. And it's loud. One thing I can't stand, because I used to ride public transportation, especially when I was in college living in Chicago. That's all we had, baby. You take that U pass and you get your ass on that train or that bus. We went to school downtown. Columbia College of Sh Chicago is downtown, honey. Ain't no parking, baby. <laughs> Ain't no parking spot. You finna have tickets after tickets after tickets. And the the wild thing about riding public transportation is like people really do not understand boundaries or just courtesy. If you on the train or the bus, I don't want to hear your goddamn music. Turn that shit off or put some headphones in. If you left your headphones at home, that's on you, baby. But you can literally go get headphones from the goddamn dollar store. Please go and get you some. Nobody want to hear all that shit. Period. So he already playing the loud ass music. That's already getting on my nerves. You butted in my damn conversation talking about some, I'm not no actor. I don't give a damn if you are or you're not. I'm not talking to you. Get out my motherfucking mouth and my business. I'm not even facing you, nigga. I'm facing. Like, you just stand. I'm not no actor. Damn ear hustler. Then you got another look at my student staring at him all weird and shit. And my student was like, what? And then he turned around. Now, he proceeds to have a conversation with Mr. J. He turns to Mr. J. Like, literally, he just keeps staring like, so, what what y'all what y'all doing? Like, what y'all on the bus for? Um, you 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 got a destination? Now I can't understand Mr. J all the time, cause Mr. J, he speaks really fucking fast, and he's also bilingual. So I be feeling like, but the the fact that he's bilingual, he's um English and Spanish, and then he talk fast as hell. It'd be like, yo da da da. Like, I'll be like, what you say? I, I talk fast a little bit, too, so I can understand him. But he talked fast and he talked a little light. So I really couldn't hear what Mr. J, what Mr. J was responding to him. But he was just trying to, like, brush him off. Like, oh, no, 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 you know, I'm just here with my kids. We're we just here on a field trip. No, like, nothing. We're just on a field trip. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, dude, like, oh, you ain't got no destination. Like, you ain't. He was like, oh, no, I'm, well, you know, I'm just, you know, on a field trip. Like, he was just trying to dust them off. So... My other co-worker, Mr. T, he laughing. He trying not to laugh. He like, I'm trying not to make no eye contact, bro, because I'm about to laugh. I'm like, I'm like, he low-key getting on my nerves, like, looking all in my motherfucking face and looking looking at everybody. Like, he just keeps staring at everybody on the goddamn bus. Like, mind your goddamn business. And I'm telling Mr. T, I'm like, see, I'm a little ignorant. And, like, I, I, I will, I am a person that will kind of, like, spaz on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, not even trying to intentionally, but, like, Get the hell out the way. Like, what are you doing, weirdo? And I and and the more I, you know, was observing, I was like, he definitely got an IP number. He definitely probably needed to go to um the continuation school. Because y y your social skills is off. You know what I'm saying? They're off. But I was irritated because he just came off weird. And and I'm always alert because, you know, I done got robbed on the bus before. You feel me? I I done got robbed in Chicago trying to go get my goddamn press and curl with my friend Amira Big Head ass. Talking about something they do press and curls for $40. And the nigga just snatched my phone on my goddamn hand on the bus. So anytime I ride any public transportation, baby, I'm always on alert. Especially for the crazy people. That's why I act crazy too. Oh, you think you crazy? Oh, baby, I'm crazy. Er, period. Ah, period. Uh. Um, okay. Shout out to King Pain. Over there chasing reality in LA. Because that's where I get that from. <laughs> and I be winning it out, period. Ah, period. Ugh, okay. Wait, or is that where I get that from? No, I don't. I get. I don't know where the hell I get it from. I probably get it from a little white girl that had them big-ass lashes on. But anyway, that's neither, that's neither here nor there. So we proceed to give you what you need. So he talking to Mr. Jonathan. You know, he ain't saying nothing else. So I'm talking to Arthur, and I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm, oh, shit. Talking to my student, I'm like, don't worry about it. You good. I got your back. Miss Tia got your back. He not going to do nothing to you. And I'm still talking while homeboy sitting like right across from me. And he going to look at my student and say, yeah, shh. I said, uh, do not tell my student to shush. Do not. Mind your business. So then I'm talking to my Mr. T again and I say something. And this motherfucker going to say, well, where your mama stay? Like, where your mama at? I looked at him, I said, do I know you? And he looked at me, I said, do I know you? Exactly. 
Nigga, leave me the hell alone. I'm not the I'm not the one to talk to. I'm not I'm not I'm I'm nice, but if I feel like you being weird, then I'm not nice. And I'm gonna give you that spice. Okay? Ice spice, goddammit. Like back the hell up. So he's still trying to talk. Like he like, so what you know what y'all doing? You uh, where y'all going? And I can tell he trying to be social and meet a friend, but you doing it the wrong way and you just coming off real awkward and weird. And it's just I'm just alert. I just be alert. You you ride track pet when you rob any public transportation, you don't know what the hell people be thinking. And let me tell you something, these homeless people and these people that's, you know, might not have their social skills together in LA. Like I, I had a friend got chased down by a homeless person. I had a client get attacked by a homeless person that just wasn't in their right mind or just like a person on the transportation just trying to be little and be irate to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm always on T. You will get elbowed, okay? Or I'm gonna kick you in your shin, one or the other. So I'm like, do I know you? Cause why are you talking to me? I guess he ain't like that, he got his ass up. No, 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 he asked me one more thing. He was like, what y'all doing with y'all guy? And I just looked at him, I said, sir, please, please, sir. We just trying to get back to our destination. He looked at me and he got his motherfucking ass up and went right on up to the front. Because see, you should have sat at the front anyway. Why are you back here? Why are you back here playing this loud ass too short? You with our, you know, you can tell that we are class. You can look at our students and not even trying to be on no like funny stuff, but you can look at our students and tell that they are just different. You know what I'm saying? They're different. And we're taking them out in the real world so that they don't have to feel different. They know that they're different, but they want to still be able to operate in the world like they're not. And for you to come, and, and this is not even the first time that somebody has like, you know, walked up on our class while we're out, you know, doing some weirdo stuff. And we looking at them like, don't you see our class? Like you can tell our, our students, you, you, you can just tell they're different. Like, why are you trying to startle them and be, oh, like, don't run up on them. Not, don't run up on our kids like that. Like, back the hell. Don't run up on nobody like that, God damn it. That's the quickest way to get you punched in your throat. What the hell be wrong with people? It's so crazy because Tap In Tuesday really was supposed to be about va vacations from hell that I experienced. But the nigga on the bus pissed me off so damn bad that I had to tell the story about the bus. Because why the hell... You think it's okay to be all up in my personal space talking about where your mama? Who is your mama? Nigga, you need to back the hell up. Fuck is you talking about? Where's my mama? You don't know me, nigga. I don't know you. The hell? So we get off the bus and we walk in and stuff and like everybody, they kind of like laugh and they like, oh, Miss Tia. I'm like, man, I'm like, he was irritating me. I don't play that. They like, yeah, we can tell. I'm like, you know, I done been robbed on the bus before, so I just be on 10. Like, don't play with me. Like, I would never get getting robbed on that bus. I'm sitting in, I'm standing up in the front by the door. Dude reached around the pole and snatched my phone straight up out my hand and burnt off down the goddamn street, okay? Whoo, time to be alive. Chicago don't owe me nothing. And I've been on the train where people be acting crazy, want to, you know, talk all loud and shit. Well, you know what, nigga, I'm crazy too. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You to be on a bit like on a train, just looking crazy, like ah. You know what I'm saying? You just bust out screaming with, oh, you think you crazy? Oh, I'm finna show you crazy. I'm finna show you crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I don't just, I just don't play that. I don't play that. As soon as I'm feeling uncomfortable, baby, it's on. The gloves is off. It's on. Mind your goddamn business, or you gonna feel my wrath. But he had me, it, it tripped me out when he gonna tell my students, shh, you need to be quiet. Nigga, you need to be goddamn quiet while you looking up in everybody's face like you want to smell like breath. Nigga was, I'm like, hey, you, know, you need to be in the class with us. Because I could just tell, I could just tell, I could tell, something ain't right with you. But Mr. J, who he was sitting by, said that he had smelled like a lot of alcohol. He smelled drunk. So, you know, that's probably why too. But I'm excited. For what's to come with Tap In Tuesday, you know, summer, the summer is my time to really just execute all my plans. I'm not really talking about too much of what I'm going to be changing about Tap In Tuesday, but just know the main thing is that it's going to start be, being pre-recorded. And um, maybe y'all can let me know if I should drop the episodes um, at midnight or should I drop them 
you know, like at 6 p.m., 5 p.m., you know, um, my time, which is Pacific Standard, that's LA time, which would be like 7 p.m. in Houston, 8 p.m. in New York. Because what I want to do is, I'm not, I, well, yeah, I will tell y'all, I want to um, drop them, but I still want to go live. So I've been thinking about doing like, I, that's why I'm debating if I'm going to drop them like in the middle of the day, like afternoon, evening, or if I'm going to drop them like at 12 a.m. in the morning on Tuesday. So that'll give you guys the whole day Tuesday to watch it. And then we can still go live at 7.30 p.m. and do after dark, at, you know, late night questions and answers recap live video you know what i'm saying that'll just be exclusively for instagram i'll probably still record it just to give my youtube some more content so y'all let me know what y'all think about that or whatever like that you know just the thing that i've been thinking about but um shout out to up from here band the band i seen with we're gonna be seeing thursday um which is technically tonight because i'll be posting this youtube tonight it's wednesday but it's 10 40 p.m which means that it's like 12 in the other places so you know but we perform every second and fourth thursday and now we got a monday spot and um i'll have all that info and stuff like that but i love y'all for real i'm so excited for vacation just be ready to see showing naked ass in a great state of texas showing naked ass in a great state of texas yeehaw yeehaw bitch okay but yeah, get into this hair, honey. The hair is giving. I love it. I don't got no makeup on. The hair is giving what it needs to be. Gave. Okay, let me tell y'all something. This unit, I've been having this unit since 2000 and goddamn 16. I kid you not. This this unit done been 15 different hairstyles. It was way long, like 24 inches. Then I cut it mid back. Then I did like honey blonde, honey brown low light highlights. Then I stepped it up the notch and then really highlighted a little bit. Cut it laid it down to the side i haven't worn this wig in probably about i haven't worn this wig since i moved to la i've been in la for going on five years it'll be five years in september so i haven't worn this wig in five years but bitch is still it's full matter of fact i took a, a bundle a, almost a little about a quarter short of a bundle out because it was so much hair but yeah this is like the best hair so, you know, just a little one curl. Shout out to Shani for getting me right. You know what I'm saying? Just a little one curl. I did a little one curl on it. Because I'm not needed to do a video. It was just like like a, giving a wet and wavy look. You know, like a drunken love. Drunken love. We be all night. <laughs> so, yeah. I just did a little one curl. Can't wait to go. And I'm going to vlog Mexico too, guys. So, you'll get to see my crazy cousins. And what we get what well, not what we get down well, how we do when we do what we do oh oh because this my my cousin is like only like 30 that's getting married 30 31 something like that so it's a young people with and we finna show out showing they get eyes in the gray state of Texas well like that girl said Lord is here Shorty had me weak. Shorty really could sing too, though. I went to her page. Shorty got a voice voice. Like, she was, I could tell she could sing when she did the her, her, her. I love being black, baby. We so funny. It, 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 we just so naturally funny, y'all. We don't even be trying. Not all of us, but most of us. But anyway, I love y'all for real. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Till we meet again.